Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel. My name's Catherine from Soul Siren Tarot. Here to do your November reading, all right? So see what we've got coming up for you. And um, for those who are already subscribed, thank you so much. I uh, can't tell you how much it means to me, all the subscribers and helping us keep the channel running. Okay, well done, thank you. Uh, for those new to the channel, all right, it is a general read. It's not gonna resonate with all of you. So if it does, great, I hope it helps. If it doesn't, just kick it to the curb. It wasn't for you this month or if you do know someone it would help please do share equally if you are new and you do like the reading please do subscribe help me keep the channel going um i will be doing a part two to the reading okay so if it does resonate with you um and you do want to um hear part two uh, please see me over on vimeo link on how to do that is below um, and also if you want a private reading again the link on how to do that is below too and thank you to all you beautiful people who are always and already uh sign up um and for private readings with me it's amazing meeting you all all right so without further ado capricorn what is going on for november so excited yeah halloween it's like the veil's so so thin right now yeah i'm getting such powerful powerful messages coming through all right guys yeah please sorry i have to wait till they start jumping capricorn please spirit what do we need to know for capricorn yeah what do we need to know yeah so we're, well we're starting out capricorn with the emperor absolutely stunning can you see this yeah it, this is absolutely taking control but i feel it's you capricorn taking control of your life right now it could be i'm just getting a sense for whoever this message is for that, that that you may be getting ready to leave something behind walk away from a situation but it's a situation that hasn't been bringing you your greatest good and that can be hard can't it sometimes capricorn sometimes we don't you know it's a bit it's a bit unnerving um to start start um a, a brand new journey um i do feel like you may be leaving whoever this is for a love situation behind but i feel it's not a new decision okay i just feel like you, you you're starting to take control of it you, or oh how, what am i getting like like you're accepting right this is going to start to stick with me you're accepting that you have no control over it therefore you are going to take control of it does that make sense yeah you, you, you it may be that someone's walked away from you it may be that they're acting in a way that isn't fair to you okay it hasn't been fair to you um and and, and you've been grieving right you've been grieving a loss but i feel like capricorn you're starting to accept that okay this is now moving into a brand new phase in my journey absolutely a brand new space in my life yeah and and, and it's like that thank you it's like the healing the healing process is is really begun in earnest now okay you'll know who this is if you're connecting with this message that healing process has really just started in earnest yeah absolutely stunning what's coming out wow look at this emperor and a king of cups Mm. now this is beautiful because i do feel the king of cups capricorn for whoever this reading's for right this is this is now a new energy coming into your life it's a new person it's 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 a new love all right it's it's things starting to flow again be, be, because i feel like capricorn whoever this message is for you've been it, it's like it's like you hung on to this 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 where is it sorry you held on to this this old energy as though you weren't going to get another opportunity d does that make sense like you were frightened you, you you wouldn't you wouldn't get any more opportunities you know it's almost like capricorn the energy of well that was it for me yeah that's it forever no it's not capricorn you know th there's a lot of people out there and it, 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 for the, whoever this reading's for yeah i want you to carry on on your healing because spirit involves itself like if if something ends right in your life it ends for a reason okay it ends for a reason and, and you've just got to trust and have faith yeah that that, that that there's a reason this is happening yeah and it's to bring something much better into your life okay you, you just look at him look at him he's so calm he's so loving 
that just focus there you go calm loving uh very attentive the king of cups okay very attentive it, i just feel capricorn that someone is heading towards you and they're heading towards you fast and it's absolutely beautiful because look what comes next ace of wands yeah ooey gooey lovey yeah it's absolutely beautiful this is divine uh soulmate connection but it's also a divine union it's it, can you see it's the union of the divine masculine and the divine feminine and, and they're intertwined and it's very passionate and it's very fiery and it comes to you capricorn after you've been through quite a hell ride okay you, you you're coming out of quite a dark place do you, do you sort of see like the cave the cave around it yeah, you, you're coming out of this dark, dark energy. Yeah, it was a really dark space. It, was, it wasn't for you, Capricorn. It wasn't for you. And you've known it. You've known it. And that's why I'm just getting a sense of release, you know, on the past. Yeah, look at this. Seven of Swords. Yeah, this is someone very sneaky that was in your life. Yeah, you, you can see that they've got the Four of Swords, yeah, in their arm that they're also holding one five and then there's two down they still want them other two yeah they'll take from you and take from you and whichever capricorn this is you absolutely have said enough and it's been really hard because you've had to release a soulmate okay i do feel you've released a soulmate but but don't get hung up on that capricorn because we have lots of soulmates uh, lots of soulmates who were meant to connect with at different points in our life you know as we as we go on our traveler's path these are different people yeah that we're meant to meet and I, I just feel for whichever Capricorn this is, you're starting to accept it now. You're starting to realise that you've got to release that energy from the past to bring the new in, to, to bring an end to bring the new in. And the new that's coming in is is, is going to be so much more, so much more that, that, than what you're leaving behind, Capricorn. I promise you, I've just had a card fly, just one sec. Than what you're leaving behind. Absolutely. Look at this now. Yeah, this is the Ten of Cups. Look at it. Mm. I'm really connecting with a Capricorn who thought that was their last chance at a Ten of Cups, right? No, it wouldn't. Absolutely not. I can't. I can't. I can't say it's strong enough. Yeah, absolutely not. Mm. You, 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 you're just moving into a, a different phase, a different phase in your journey. Yeah, that's all you're doing. Yeah, as you heal. As you heal, you bring this new. It's, it's it's the end of that love cycle, the ten of cups. Yeah, but it's but it's moving towards your new ten of cups. Yeah, and when you move and you grow, okay. When you move and you grow, you move on and you grow to better things. Yeah, you got to get away from this sneaky one. Yeah, fucking sneaky from your past here. No, no more. Yeah, absolutely. You are completing the cycle, the world card here. Absolutely stunning in Capricorn, whoever this reading's for. Yeah, you, you, it, it's becoming, and it's coming under this emperor. So it's definitely you completing that cycle and standing absolutely in your power. Absolutely standing in your power, knowing that you can manifest whatever it is you want. Once, Capricorn, you release that sneaky fucking energy. Yeah, you drop it. Dropping it like it's hot. Right. I keep seeing at the bottom of the deck, right, the Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Eight of Pentacles, again, and it's coming under this King of Cups, it's moving forward, Capricorn, on, on a creative project right it's for some of you this could be your own business okay or it's just your own idea yeah but but, but it is going to be successful yeah you you start into to, to, to power power capricorn uh, towards doing you right and the more you're doing you the more your creativity is unleashed the more can you see the more you're getting back in the flow of the universe yeah dancing with the universe capricorn absolutely gorgeous energy that you're moving in so if i'm connecting with someone who's feeling i just want to say a little bit dead inside at the moment all right because it's still very raw it still hurts just keep reminding yourself this was just part of your journey i don't want you to sit in the energy of but what if i'd have done this and what if i'd have done that or you know put up shut up whatever yeah if someone is making you feel less valued than they should less than your worth capricorn then you kick them to the fucking curb right that's what you do 
because because you're not the, the, the pulling you down the pulling you back the stopping your spiritual growth and you're saying no you are not stopping my spiritual growth yeah you may you may choose yeah to stay in the dark and play in the dark that might be where you choose to operate it's not where i sit yet yeah. oh cards flying it's not where i sit absolutely couldn't be clearer capricorn i can't make it up yeah the fool Mm -hmm. you sit playing in the dark if you want but i'm not i'm going off onto this brand new next phase of my spiritual journey a journey that's going to bring me joy and happiness yeah and i am just trusting right in this energy i am just trusting the universe that you are guiding me on the right path yeah you are guiding me on the right path you you've you've been through the fucking mill Capricorn all right because you've got oh look it's it's the end of the major arcana and the beginning of the major arcana in the same reading but it's definitely with all these cards here yeah can you see it with the eight of pentacles it, it's you going on a new creative endeavor just a new pathway something I want to say to you something you probably never would have done had you not been through this shit storm right so you know in, in, in that respect, Capricorn, whoever this reading's for, I want you to bless that shitstorm because it's put you in such a strong position. Can you see what's mirroring here? To take control, take control of your life. Yeah, can you see? Can you, can you, I want you to look. Can you see the absolute focus on the emperor? Yeah, the absolute focus and determination. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's just knowing it yeah and it's just going after it and it's saying that's fucking mine right that is fucking mine and i'm having it right and and when you're in that energy this is what i'm getting capricorn whoever this message is for it's when you're in that energy on that journey that you meet your soulmate another soulmate yeah but this soulmate is better suited to you now because of your growth and where they are like they they're on the same spiritual growth as you so they know what you need they know how to love you. They know how to care for you. Yeah, and they, and they value you. Absolutely value you. Yeah, it's absolutely stunning because it's divine, as we saw with the Ace of Wands. Yeah, and when you've got the Ace of Wands and you've got the Ten of Cups like this showing in this reading, look at the power. Absolutely glorious. For some of you Capricorns, this could involve children, okay, with it being the Ten of Cups. It may be that um, you, you, it's your current family, yeah, and you're taking them to a better place, a better dynamic. Or it could be as you move into this new divine union. Can you see a divine baby, two become three? It could be. It could be. All right. If this is something that you're wanting, you're looking for, that's where this journey is taking you. So, so with the fool, you just, babies, you just got to trust. All right. You just got to trust in what's happening around you right now. And and particularly getting a message and, and connecting with a Capricorn who's got a lot of pain here at the moment. It's hurting. Right. Because I can feel it. Right. It's, it's hurting. But release. Yeah. Don't try and hide it. Don't try and pretend it's not happening. Release it yeah if you need to have a little cry have a little cry yeah if you need to sit and you know have it have it have a pajama day with your movies on all day reminiscing do it but don't linger in it just release it yeah because what you're doing is you're taking this bad energy because it was bad energy that's put you in this because you you know you shouldn't be, have been made to feel the way you've been made to feel but you're releasing that energy out of your energy field so so that's quite painful yeah it's, it's quite painful because you, you're moving through your vibrations and through your dimensions yeah because you're growing it's like growing pains yeah so i i, I, I want you to stop being mm, it, it is emotional, but it's like stopping being so focused on the emotional side of it. Yeah, felt it. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Wow. Right. Stop being so focused on the emotional and the 3D and getting locked in your head and just see it as energy release, energy release. Yeah. Look what's coming next to the fool. Wow. I've got now the emperor, the world, the fool okay and now we get the chariot you are definitely on the move 
definitely on a brand new spiritual journey capricorn look at the power in that card yeah and to have the world and the fool and the chariot in one reading right it's oh wow it's like boom yeah it's like i'm sure scorpios was this for, for, for end of october it's like just fucking boom it's like things are just going to start taking off and moving at a pace yeah a massive pace yeah, once you release Capricorn, once you release, don't don't go back to dirty energy, right? And when I say dirty energy, dirty energy is people who refuse to grow. Yeah, it's very childlike. They refuse to learn the lessons. Yeah, they just carry on doing what they've always done. Being an absolute idiot. Yeah, absolute idiot. And, and what they want to do is bring you back with them. They don't want to release you on into the next phase of your journey. Well, I'm telling you, no, they've no fucking choice. Because... Capricorn, whoever's reading this is for, you are absolutely storming, storming forward, yeah, storming away from the shit, right, storming away from the bad, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just so beautiful to see because the, the more, yeah, because spirit's taking you, chariot, spirit's taking you, yeah, the more you just go, right, what's next, what's next on my journey yeah what what is it that i'm next supposed to experience and to learn yeah and you stop sitting up here saying but but what ifs and you actually say right embracing the next the next part of my journey it's absolutely stunning capricorn wow three of cups here where it's coming out this is celebrations it's big success for me coming out next to the with the fool the chariot and then the three of cups wherever you go in capricorn you are going to have huge success right massive success and happiness so again if you sat in the energy of no that's not going to be me it's not going to happen for me well it fucking won't right because because you're not allowing it to but if you're sitting in the energy of i've got this i'm having it it's mine yeah i'm owed this i've, I've earned it yeah, and you just think it, focus, bring it to life. Absolutely, Capricorn. Just fucking amazing. And it's coming under your Ten of Cups. So it's it, this is taking you to absolute divine joy, success and happiness. I can't say it any clearer. And you're going to meet your brand new soulmate when you get there. So November is so amazing, Capricorn. If you learn not to stay locked in the 3D, in the feeling. And I'm going to say it. Feeling sorry for yourself because someone did this to you, mm -mm -mm, right? You, you release it. That's their bad. It's not yours. You're going on your next phase and you will be celebrating Capricorn. It's absolutely glorious energy. I love it for you. All right. So stay strong. Don't stay locked in the 3D just let change come in yeah just let it come in release the pain as it works through your energy fields release it see it as getting that bad energy out of yourself yeah because here we go here we fucking go capricorn storming ahead absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful okay i'm gonna leave it there capricorn um for your november beginning of the month i will be back for a check in mid month see how you're getting on but I'm going to go over to part two now on Vimeo. So if that really did resonate for you, I'm going to get more on this journey over in part two. I want to see what's happening. But other than that, Capricorn, if you did enjoy the reading and you haven't already, please do subscribe. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time. I hope this reading helped you. Um, and good luck for November, you fiery, fiery animals. It's going to be amazing. All right. Thank you.